Well, Target posted strong results in the fourth quarter, but did strike a cautious tone. As you mentioned, consumer habits are changing, right? They're shifting away from discretionary items. Our Brian Sazi here with us. Uh, he had a chance to catch up with an executive from the company, and he's all over the numbers. So, Saz, what are your takeaways? Yeah, uh, really uh, interesting quarter here from Target. So a big earnings beat here, uh, Julian Brad, but they warned, they warned on the first quarter and really warned by more than a dollar in terms of full-year profits, lots of different, different moving pieces. Chief amongst those is a more cautious consumer. I put the that question, what consumers are buying, what they aren't buying, to Target CFO Michael Fidelke. Our guests continue to pick Target more and more often. Within that top line performance, we saw a consumer that was you know, feeling the impacts of inflation. Our strongest categories were categories like food and beverage, essentials and beauty. And we saw slower trends in the categories like apparel and home and hard lines. So for us, that includes electronics and toys and things like that. And so a consumer that's feeling the impacts of inflation. But importantly, they're finding incredible value at Target. They're responding to newness when we have it on the floor pad, and that drove a traffic growth uh, for us in the quarter. Now, guys, Fidelki uh, told me that Valentine's Day sales uh, start went pretty well, and it looks like the first quarter has started okay in the context of guidance that was really below consensus, but not a home run quarter from Target. But I think while you're seeing the stock really not fall off a map on this morning, their inventory declined 3% year over year, finally starting to get that balloon that ballooning level of inventory that they saw uh, in the back half of last year, finally starting to get that under control. And within this guidance, it sounds like Target is looking for a rebounding consumer into the holiday season of 2023. But again, right now, this is not good old fashioned Target crushing it because it's selling cheap, chic apparel. This is Target dealing with a more cautious hiring uh, income consumer, which appears to be going to Walmart. Let's keep in mind, we heard mm. from Walmart last week here, guys, uh, that uh, U.S., Walmart U.S., our same-store sales up over 8% because they gained more shoppers, more high-income shoppers. Those shoppers may be coming from the aisles of Target. And the big question, too, is where those shoppers are going. Are they going into the physical stores or are they going increasingly online? And, you know, I'd love to get your read in on that because they said within this release that they're focused on executing this long-term strategy, continued differentiation through affordability, assortment, ease, and convenience. But you got to think about the number of SKUs that they have on their website, either their target owned or third party sellers and how they're going to continue to woo the consumer in an environment where they have so so many options are looking for that value comparison as well. Yeah, I think you'll hear more from Target on that front and other initiatives. Uh, their investor day is in New York City. That's going to kick off around 10 45, 11 uh, a.m. So more to come on that front. We also asked uh, and Brad, to your point here, if Target has to invest more in, in lowering prices, I also asked Fidelki about the impact of inflation on that consumer. Take a listen. If I talk about our discretionary businesses, so apparel, home, and hard lines, we still did $55 billion of business in those categories. And so those categories aren't going to zero anytime soon. We're just seeing a consumer that's making choices as they've seen the persistent inflation in a category like food and beverage, and that's taking a bigger piece of their share of wallet, and that's factoring into their purchase decision. And Julia, another uh, top executive telling us that disinflation like the Fed is out there talking about, is not necessarily happening. These companies are still dealing with high levels of inflation in their supply chain and their customer base still dealing with high levels of inflation and perhaps going to a Target, not buying those uh, five pairs of pants, reinvesting that money that would have went on pants into some cans of soup. I mean, surely they must be seeing disinflation in certain parts of the business. It would, hard, it would be hard to see that they wouldn't, given what we've seen in things like gasoline prices, fuel prices generally from a year ago and now apparel. You know, what Target is paying wholesale for apparel, I cannot imagine that it is at this rising at the same rate as it was a year earlier. But be that as it may, I mean, overall, my impression as I look at this quarter and I, as I look at the um, reaction in the share size is that after the year that Target has had, it feels as though, right, they've taken the lesson away to be more cautious, to under promise and perhaps over deliver. And maybe the street is sort of treating the forecast in that way. Not that they're not taking it seriously, but that it's being seen perhaps as overly cautious. Well, if you're an analyst on the street covering Target, Julie, and you did not see this quarter in guidance coming from Target, you should, in fact, get a new job because this was uh, coming at you uh, like a freight train a couple months ago. This is a company that has reported at least three challenging quarters in the row, margins under pressure, sales under pressure, traffic under pressure, inventory high. So this quarter was, was well known. But I do think the big story coming out of this quarter 
If you're an investor and you're on the Yahoo Finance platform, you have two choices. One, do you even want to be involved in a retail sector uh, at a time of consumer spending pressure? And then two, if you are, is it a Walmart? Is it a Target? And I think it's very clear. You, Walmart quarter, same store sales in the U.S. over up over 8%. Target, uh, same store sales up 7 tenths of a percent. It tells you in this environment, Walmart is taking market share, and that is a big win. All right. We're going to continue to watch shares of Target. We just saw them actually move into positive territory just before uh, the start of trade here. We're still about 23 minutes out, so we'll see how TGT continues to trade going into the beginning of today's session. Yahoo Finance's own Brian Sazi breaking down all things Target. You're going to hear more from him a little bit later on.